Africa. As a continent full of wildlife, one can only wonder why there are no bears here. After all, they are a highly adaptable species. But there is evidence of a bear in Africa that once roamed the Atlas Mountains. In olden times, Arab hunters repeatedly mentioned a bear living in the mountains of the Atlas Range. However, there was cause for confusion. The Arab word for bear, known as Dep, is also applied in parts of North Africa to the hyena. In 1840, an officer of the English military named Crowther was on his way to India when he made a stop at Gibraltar. Crossing over to Africa, he visited Tetouan and other places in the north of Morocco. Here, at the foot of the Tetouan Mountains, about 25 miles from the Atlas mountain range, he had seen a dead specimen of a bear. According to Crowther's description, this bear was smaller than the American black bear. Its face was shorter and broader, and both toes and claws were remarkably short for a bear. The hair was brownish black, but the underparts had an orange rufous color. Crowther further stated that even at the time, this particular bear was a rare species and that it was very distinct and different in appearance from any other bear. In 1844, Swiss naturalist Heinrich Rudolf Schinz classified this creature as a subspecies of the brown bear, which he scientifically called Ursus arctos crowtheri. As the most widely distributed species of bear, brown bears are found in Asia, Europe, and northwestern North America. The size and color of these bears will vary according to location. With regard to color, they can range from brown and black to light brown and blonde. Generally, brown bears are quite large. Due to the number of subspecies, it's hard to generalize their weight. On average, they weigh between 175 and 1,200 pounds. The Atlas bear supposedly weighed up to 1,000 pounds. Among the bear species, the polar bear is the largest, with males normally weighing between 750 to 1,500 pounds. They also happen to be the largest living land carnivore. The Kodiak bear is a subspecies of brown bear, often weighing between 650 and 1,300 pounds. Scientific studies revealed that Atlas bears, while possibly being related to brown bears, were also related to polar bears. Some scientists think that the ancestors of North African bears did not reach Africa via the Middle East, but instead migrated via Europe. Crossing the Mediterranean Sea via the narrowest path is not impossible. Bears are generally omnivores, although the Atlas bear was thought to be a herbivore. Since most bears are omnivores, it's possible that the Atlas bear was capable of eating meat. Bears are excellent climbers, but strangely, it's said that the Atlas bear was not able to climb with facility. But, if this North African bear was so rare by the 1800s, what led to their scarcity? As their name suggests, the Atlas bear inhabited the Atlas mountain region from Tunisia to Morocco and neighboring areas. But with the expansion of the Roman Empire, wealthy Romans hunted Atlas bears for sport. Bears were also captured and taken to gladiatorial arenas where they were pitted against fighters. Over centuries, thousands of bears were killed. In 1870, the last Atlas bear was killed at the Tatoan Mountains. After prehistoric species of bears that lived in on the continent, the Atlas bear is seemingly the last known African bear. But by the late 19th century, it went extinct. Can bears live in Africa today? Due to the hot and dry climate, any foreign bears in Africa might have a hard time acclimatizing. And the climate in Africa 
is harsher than other regions where bears are presently found. Experts also believe that the climate in North Africa may be warmer now due to global warming. Additionally, bears could have competition from other animals like lions or hyenas. But since bears are omnivores, that wouldn't be a major challenge. But the fact that there was a native bear in Africa that lived to historic times and its subsequent extinction at the hand of man is cause for concern. The disappearance of the Atlas bear from Africa is not a solitary incident. It's a timely warning and an indication of the plight of other animals on the brink of extinction.